Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to fail at working your list. We like to cover both sides of the story. So we've covered how to be successful at working your list. Now let's look at how to be a failure at working your list. First things first, react to the hottest leads. If you are working, let's say, an open house and you meet six people and one of them is really red hot and ready to go and the other six are warm but not ready to pull the trigger, the trick here is to forget those six. Focus on just that one because that one is going to be a paycheck now, potentially. And those other six people, they may have paid you eventually, but quite frankly, they're not worth the time. Focus just on the one red hot lead. Just totally fixate on them and put all of your time and all of your energy in that one person. And then once you've sold them a house, find another person and another person. Just do one at a time. Don't worry about having multiple irons in the fire. Don't worry about generating uh, abundance in your business. Focus on just that one person. That's the first thing you can do to be a failure at working with effectively. Number two, be spontaneous. This is really important. You need to have a wide open calendar, 24 seven availability. Don't worry about separating business and personal life. Always be open, always be available to opportunity. When somebody knocks, you want to open that door and go running out to the street and show them properties. Really, really key that you are spontaneous because opportunity doesn't always come. And when it does, you got to seize it and take it. And again, if you have four or five people that you're working, trying to, trying to turn over some business, and then opportunity, one, one of them puts their hand up, burn the rest, forget about them because they're not ready to buy right now. Focus on just that one person and run, be a pop tart, jump out there and seize opportunity. That's a critical way to fail at working your list. Number three, jump at opportunity, like I just said. Be a pop tart. You need to be somebody who focuses on the gold as soon as you find it. So you're, you're calling your people because you know you happen to have an hour free time. You're like, you know what? I'm feeling inspired. I'm going to reach out and call some people today. And, you, and the first person you speak to or the second or third person you speak to says, yeah, I'm thinking maybe of seeing some properties. You should drop everything you're doing and focus on just that one person. Put together a lengthy CMA, book some tours, clear your schedule. Focus on just that one person. And don't worry about following up with the other 10 people you said you're going to follow up with because, quite frankly, you've got gold. You've got it right in front of you. So focus on just that one person. And don't worry about building a large business in abundance. Focus on scarcity with just that one person. Number four, work harder at the same things. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is you've already learned what you need to learn in your business. You've already figured out how to call people, how to follow up, and you know opportunity when it knocks. So as soon as you have uh, uh, success in your business, stop learning. Stop doing new things. Do what you did and do it over and over and over again. You've hit gold. You've sold your first house. You've sold your 50th house. It doesn't matter. You know how to do it. So why would you need to learn anything else? Focus on just what you've done in the past that's worked because we all know past performance is a future is an indicator of future performance. So if you focus heavily on what you've done in the past, it will always work in the future. So keep doing that. Don't worry about trying to learn new ways. Don't worry about personal development or professional development. That's just time wasted. Don't worry about team meetings. Don't worry about learning from mentors. That just gets in the way of you doing what you're really, really good at, which is sifting and sorting the couple leads you do have, finding the one that's hot, and focusing all your energy on the one person. Just do that over and over again and successfully, and you're going to repeat the same success you've had over and over and over again. Number five. Be entitled. This is also critical. People are lucky to have you in their lives. And when you reach out to them and they say, yeah, I'm thinking of buying or selling the house, then you need to jump on that. That's really, really key if you want to be a failure at, at building your list and working your list effectively. Because nobody needs to have a large list of people, friends, family, past clients, that can generate business for them. Instead, what you can focus on is that one opportunity and expecting that opportunity to come to you. Of course you deserve that opportunity. Why wouldn't you? You've worked hard for your business. You don't need to learn new things because you've already figured it all out. So just be expecting business to come your way. And if, heaven forbid, somebody chooses not to hire you, well, then you should be very upset and blame them. You should also look at ways of not, you know, not accepting the mistake you made. Why did you lose that business? It doesn't matter why you lost that business. That person made a mistake. It wasn't your fault. It was that person's fault. So. Don't ever worry about that. Just remember, just, just work harder. If you lose out on an appointment, just work harder at doing what you're doing in the, the past. In the past, That's going to help you see the same results you've always seen. And even if you start seeing less results, that's just because you're not working hard enough. So start working harder at the same things you've always been doing, and that's going to give you the results you're looking for. So if you want to learn how to fail successfully at building your list and working your list, be reactionary. Focus all your energy on one person alone, first hottest person you see. Jump, 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 be a pop tart agent, work very, very hard at the same things. And when, and when things start stop working for you, just work harder because that's all the mistake you're making and expect business to come your way. You deserve it. You work hard. You deserve to get people to jump into your boat to, to give you business and to pay you a lot of money for that. You deserve it. So work hard and believe that. Believe that really strongly. And even if the world around you is telling you otherwise, just 
shut it out because you are stone. Be that stone. Best of luck in your life, and if you want to be a spectacular failure at working your lift, follow this instruction. Have a great day.